A mortar is a howitzer that fires mortar shells at high angles. It could be used effectively in mountainous areas or trench attacks. First of all, let's talk about the structure of the mortar. Moving on to the mortar shell. So, how is the mortar fired? There is a firing pin under the barrel. When the mortar shell hits the firing pin, the detonator activates and burns the charge. Consequently, the augmenting charges explode with the gas that pushes out the mortar shell with the explosion force. At the moment, the base plate helps to withstand the explosion pressure. Thus, the accuracy of the firing increases with the properly installed base plate. The augmenting charges can be attached and detached freely. With the fewer number of augmenting charges, the explosive power and thereby the firing range will be reduced. The maximum firing range is about 6 km when all the augmenting charges are used. The 81mm mortar has a casualty radius of about 40 meters. By turning the dial that is located at the front of the mortar shell, the impact fuse can be set as proximity, near surface burst, impact, delay. These abbreviations are as follows from the left. The PRX stands for proximity. And the fuse operates when it reaches a distance of 30 centimeters to 2 meter from the target. The NSB stands for near surface burst. And it operates at a distance of less than 30 centimeters from the surface. The IMP stands for impact, and this impact fuse operates when it hits the target. Lastly, the DLY stands for delay, and it operates within 0.5 seconds after the impact.